at the Avera 2016 conference, I found a nice electric bike. And that is not just a normal bike, it's a bike who goes around the world in 80 days. Let's look at the bike and let's look at the trip around the world. Good. Yuri Steinbuch, you built this uh, engine. How long uh, did you work on this uh, motorcycle? Well, for we uh, started designing it in September 2014, and in one year and one month, we finished our prototype. And on the 1st of October, we actually uh, presented our first uh, prototype to the world. So what's special about this uh, motorcycle? So the most special about this motorcycle is the batteries. Those are the hexagonal uh, uh, well, cartridges, as we call them, you see here. And these are removable. You can basically plug them in, take them out and that kind of stuff. Yes, exactly. So one, uh, one advantage is that you can swap them. So within five minutes, remove all batteries and put new ones in so you can be on your way again. How big is the batteries? It's 28.5 kilowatt hours. In 12 or something like that? How much are these? How much, uh, how much of these uh, play things are these? Okay, so I can replace my, uh, I can replace the battery uh, very uh, flexible, very nice. How, how powerful is this uh, motorcycle? It has a, a power of 35 kilowatt uh, normally and 70 kilowatt peak, which is about, I think, uh, 95 horsepower. Okay, and is it driving already? Yes, for sure it is. Uh, we've been testing it for a while now and, uh, well, we actually have a very nice movie uh, about it. Okay, so here we see it. Hey, there is going. How fast is it? It uh, its top speed is 160 kilometers an hour, and it's on 100 kilometers an hour within five seconds. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty cool. So you can, in a year time, you can develop this uh, motorcycle. Any idea what the cost would be if you would have to count all your hours? Uh, that would be a very high cost if you count all our hours, of course. But uh, I really have no idea how much it would cost if we would mass produce it. Yeah, no, okay. So, but the, uh, the nice is that you have replaceable batteries, so you can basically have, if you have lots of, how many battery packs are you going to take on your trip? Uh, four. Okay. Yeah. Four battery, and then you can basically drive how many, uh, how many kilometers a year and, um, can you drive? About a thousand, but we will drive uh, 600 a day. Well, let's talk about that trip. So Rimko Mulders, you have basically organized a trip around the world. I think we see it here. Yep. It's going around uh, in a lot of places. Where, where are you going to start? Well, we have a starting event in Eindhoven. We will start in August. Since uh, the, the main thing about the motorcycles, the motorcycle is kind of a tool to promote electric mobility, electric driving. Mm -hmm. So we will use the motorcycle to uh, drive around the world in 80 days. Yeah, yeah. So it's one motorcycle and how many people and vehicles and, and, and combustion engines do you need to, su to support that one electric uh, motorcycle? Well, since the motorcycle is really a prototype, we have a lot of new technologies inside of it. So we need a technical staff. We have 23 people with us. <laughs> so that are software <laughs> engineers, but also mechanical engineers that have built the motorcycle and know the motorcycle. Yeah. So could they uh, repair it in the if it is necessary, yeah. Well, the trip is, uh, it takes uh, 80 days. We'll start in Eindhoven uh, in the Netherlands. We have a big starting event. Then we will drive through uh, to Europe to uh, an event in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. Then we have an event in Istanbul together with the Dutch consulate at the consulate palace. And then we enter the, the Middle East. We will uh, drive through uh, Tehran into Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan. They will, <laughs> they will look. I mean, do you already have contacts with them? They like it? Uh, yeah, they liked it very much. We uh, went there a couple of weeks ago on a, on a test trip to uh, talk to universities, consulates, inspire students, but also to visit uh, companies, for example. And they are enthusiastic about uh, you know to go with your motorbike or EV motorbike in in Tehran. Yeah, they're very enthusiastic since y y you see a lot of new technologies m mainly in Europe, but also in uh, in America or in China. Mm -hmm. But no no new technologies are shown in that region in Central Asia. So really uh, aspiring to be there and to uh, show the motorcycle. Yeah. So does the university give you uh, points for this? Do you get free? The, this is uh, is this. Uh, a well-paid uh, job for the students? No, it isn't. No, it is uh, mainly based upon uh, a group of students with a lot of dreams that have uh, started a project. So the university is sponsoring it, of course, and is uh, facilitating uh, the rooms and the, the working places, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, no student points, no credits, but uh, just an uh, amazing challenge and amazing learning curve of uh, building. I would say you l this is useful stuff that you learn in uh, school. If you can uh, pull off a project like this in 80 days around the world with an EV vehicle, that's uh, really something. How important is software actually in a motorcycle like this? 
really important since normally when you have a combustion engine vehicle software isn't really a bit big thing but now all the batteries uh, have to be separately managed so we have a battery management system operating with a larger management system and also the integration with navigational tools and where to charge so really a big software component in this in this bike yeah, yeah. what other uh, what other kind of skills do you need to put a project like this together so you have software p skills what else electrical engineering really big skill we have uh, i think three or four electrical engineers on our team, but it's really combined. And electrical engineering combining with the mechanical and the, the software skills, since uh, you have the mechanical tools like the, the bases and the suspension, that kind of uh, new technologies or com yeah, technologies already in place, but the batteries uh, are made of small battery blocks mm -hmm. and there are uh, electrical engineering technologies inside of it, but also mechanical casing. So combining all the disciplines really results in, that in this, this motorcycle. So. So, August the 14th, they will leave from uh, Eindhoven and they will be back in November. Good luck, guys.